All right, investigators have been at the home of Rex Hearman since this morning. It's still not clear what prompted this new search of his home and what they're hoping to find. All right, let's get straight out to Fox 5's Jody Goldberg, who joins us live from the scene of Massapequa Park. Jody, what can you tell us tonight? Stephen Natasha, I could tell you officials descended on the home around 8 o'clock this morning, and it's been a very active scene ever since. You could see behind me the street is closed and a command post has been set up. As for neighbors, they say it's deja vu. It was back in July when officials started searching the house after Rex Heuerman was first arrested. No word on how, they'll, how long they'll be here for and no word on what they're looking for. The medical examiner parked outside of Rex Hurman's home on Monday morning as investigators throughout the day went in and out of the suspected Gilgo Beach serial killer's house with large evidence bags. Law enforcement isn't commenting on why they're back or what they're searching for. I'd love to know. Oh my God, this is all over again. It feels like yesterday this happened. I think this is a surprise to everybody. It's been 10 months since police carefully combed through Hurman's house for clues or so-called trophies to tie the architect to the murders of four women who whose remains were found near Gilgo Beach. So far, no one has been linked to the murders of the other victims found nearby. But here in Massapequa Park, neighbors say they're frustrated. The police and media presence is back. It's very disruptive. We just want to know why. Experts say this multi-agency search involving the Gilgo Beach Task Force is likely for something specific. Hewerman's estranged wife, Asa Ellerup, and their son are in South Carolina. Their daughter is staying elsewhere, according to Ellerup's attorney, Bob Macedonio, who says he hasn't received the application for the search warrant or the warrant itself. The search comes three weeks after the same task force worked the woods out in Manorville and then the South Fork in Suffolk County. I just hope they have something to end this thing and put put it to rest and uh, we don't want this in our area just constantly over and over again coming to search this guy's house either find something or don't now, Hewerman, who's being held without bail, is due back in court next month. We reached out to his attorney and have not heard back. As for Ellerup's attorney, he wants us to know that no arrests have been made, and he doesn't anticipate any either. We're in Massapequa Park, Long Island. Jody Goldberg, Natasha, let's send it back to you. All right, Jody, thank you.